Hello everyone. Have you ever thought about the way you do everyday things? For example, how you go to bed, wake up, eat or drink. But what's there to think, you may say? These are very simple activities, why do I even have to think about it? But actually, my friends, we'll reveal to you a huge secret. Most everyday things are meant to be done completely different from the way we're used to. So, here are 10 everyday things you're still doing wrong. Let's get it on. Using your smartphone before going to sleep We are absolutely sure that you stay up with your phone, scrolling through your social networks or waiting for an important message before you go to sleep. Even if you say no, we're not going to believe you because even the most sophisticated of us sometimes end up lying in bed with the phone under our pillows. And now tell me, do you feel like you're getting enough sleep? Well, just what we thought. Of course, as usual, we could blame the lack of sleep on the constant stress of our lives, but actually your smartphone is to blame too. First, the content of your social networks, which you're enjoying so much, is often quite emotional and even aggressive, and it bothers your mind so much that you can't sleep for some time. Second, the light from the screen of your phone affects your sleep too. It ruins your circadian rhythms, which prevents you from relaxing well. This is why it's a much better idea to occupy yourself with reading or counting ships and let your phone relax too. Hot bathtub. Probably some of you like to relax in a hot tub because especially if it's cold on the streets and you need to warm up. It's hard to believe, but it turns out that this pleasure can be really harmful. You can think we're making this up because in your opinion, taking a bath is crucial to stay clean, healthy and cheerful. Actually, you should be careful with this. An excess of hot water causes stress for the heart and the veins so you shouldn't stay in the tub for more than 20 minutes. Also, you should know that these water procedures mean too much heat treatment for your skin, so it starts getting old much quicker. If you don't want to turn into a grunting granny or grandpa with heart problems, you must use warm water and try to enjoy a tepid bath. Holding your gases now, of course, you've been in this situation a lot of times. You're on a date or in a lesson or just with a bunch of your friends and suddenly you feel a uh, calling. But no, not a desire to go to the bathroom, as you might think. We mean a calling to release your gases. If you are familiar with this situation, you've probably dreamed about having the opportunity to go out and crack one off, but in real life, it's almost impossible. The only option is usually to hold your gases to save face. But you should know that doctors have officially confirmed that this method can lead to abdominal swelling and spasms. Also, holding your gases makes their next release louder. It may work as a short-term strategy, but usually gases don't just disappear. So don't be surprised if the fart comes back for revenge at the worst possible moment. Setting an alarm Usually, every school kid, student and most grown-ups start their morning in the same way, by postponing alarms every five minutes. You do that because your still sleeping body is not at all ready to get up. But we found that these everyday morning battles between the call of duty and the desire to sleep just five more minutes affect your physical state during the day, make you drowsy and somnolent. Because when you wake up too often and too sharply, you don't get any deep sleep. And these five or 10 minutes after you wake up for the first time, your body doesn't have time to go into profound sleep. It means that when you set your alarm clock 10 minutes earlier, you just deprive yourself of 10 minutes of quiet sleep when your body is relaxing and recovering. Besides, you waste your willpower on an absolutely useless action. Just learn to wake up at the first try and you'll get an energy boost for the whole day. Toothpaste quantity. It may sound incredible, but there's a thing that we do every day and you do it too. Yeah, of course we watch videos on YouTube every day, but there's something else. At least twice a day, we all brush our teeth. Now make a little effort and remember how your toothbrush looked this morning. Got it? 
Now tell us, how much toothpaste did you squeeze on it? It covered practically all the bristles, right? Well, congratulations, you're one of the victims of advertising. Think about the last toothpaste ad you've seen. Do you remember it? The toothbrush is always covered in toothpaste completely, sometimes even more than completely. Nevertheless, the main task of the toothpaste is not to fill your mouth with minty foam, but to facilitate the mechanical process of brushing your teeth. It's designed to soften the bristles, minimize the probable injuries, and soften the dental plaque. So. How much toothpaste do we need to squeeze on the toothbrush? Ask any dentist and they'll tell you. It must be the size of a pea. And if you just can't control yourself and cover the whole brush with toothpaste, just try to lay it on crosswise. Folding a t-shirt. If you've always wondered how the people who work in laundries and shops fold shirts so accurately, this information is for you. No, they don't have superpowers. You're simply doing it all wrong. Do you want to know how to do it right? Then pay attention. Place the shirt on a horizontal surface with the right side facing you. Starting from the farther side from you, take the left hand of the shirt by the shoulder, somewhere between the sleeve and the neck. Now grab the right hand of the shirt somewhere in the middle. Your right hand should be parallel to your left hand. And make sure you've grabbed both layers of cloth. Now, holding the shirt with both hands, place the left hand on top of the right hand so the shoulder goes down to the side seam. With your left hand, grab the side seam and the shoulder together, but make sure your hands don't cross. Straighten your hands and lift the shirt up, holding it with both hands. Now pull the shirt on and shake it. Finally, pull down the shirt and straighten the folds. Now you just have to place the sleeves under the shirt and you're done. Use this method to fold your shirts and they'll last longer, and your wardrobe will look a lot better than now. Drinking juice. So now tell us, how should you drink from a juice box? Well, yeah, you should use your mouth, but how to hold the package so you won't end up pouring out all the juice? The problem is, if you press too hard, then the juice will pour out and will ruin your favorite shirt or jersey. Worst case scenario, the juice can fall in your eyes. There's nothing pleasant about that, right? So it turns out that if you want to avoid all this, you just need to hold the juice by the ears which are located at both sides of the product. Hold it this way until you're done drinking the juice and the product will not pour out. To be honest, you'll first have to put some effort and unglue these ears from the Tetra Pack, but your reward will be clean clothes and a good mood. Applying perfume. This information will come in handy to all the girls and boys who want to dazzle everyone and therefore use a lot of perfume without knowing that they're wasting the perfume and irritating the noses of everyone around. So there are certain rules you must follow so people around you won't suffocate because of you. Apply the perfume in the points where you can feel your pulse. Those places are warmer than the rest of your body, and that means that the perfume will spread better and last longer. By the way, you shouldn't apply perfume on your body too often. After using a perfume for some time, you will no longer feel the smell, but remember that others can certainly feel it, so some extra perfume won't help you. And the most important, don't apply perfume in your most sweating places. It's not the best solution to cover bad smells. The perfume and your sweat don't go along very well, so better leave your perfume for the right places. Supermarket bags. And now a little bit of harsh reality. Every time you buy a bag in the supermarket, thousands of people are doing the same all around the world. So what you might think is insignificant actually means millions of dollars a year for these companies. But even if it sounds odd, you better buy that second bag instead of using just one. A few extra coins are no problem for you, but they could save your spine from the serious trauma they could get if you carry all your products in just one bag. Once you're done shopping, waste a couple of seconds distributing the products equally in two bags. After that, you can go home without risking an injury. You must also know that you must bend yourself before lifting heavy products. That way you'll keep your knees healthy. Toilet paper. Do you know what the right way to hang a toilet paper roll is? 
Don't laugh and get mad at us for being too cocky. Actually, there are pretty serious rules concerning the use of this everyday item. If you want to have a proper visit to the toilet, then the end of your toilet paper roll should be on the outside while hung, so in the over position. You may say that it's all the same for you and that we are overthinking it, but if the toilet paper roll is going to hang the other way round, then your hand might touch the wall, picking up a bunch of bacteria and microbes that would end up you know where. And given that we're talking hygiene right now, you must know that it would be better to use a bidet or water from the sink to clean your rear end after releasing yourself. It is way better than using toilet paper. That way you can remove all kinds of harmful bacteria and microbes, instead of just spreading them all over, like it happens when you use toilet paper. So tell us, is there at least one thing on our list that you were doing right? And of course, don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. If you haven't checked Jelly Gummy Bear's channel yet, you should do it right away. You'll certainly like all the funny experiments with the Jelly Bear, cool life hacks, awesome homemade stuff, and exciting adventures that are waiting for you on the channel. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks, and we'll be right back to you as fast as we can.